Today I want to explore a couple approaches to painting feathers. This is a small flicker feather I found. Um, I don't know my bird feathers super well, but I love the orange of these and the pattern of the brown and white. The first approach I want to share I learned about from an artist named Danny Gregory, and that's called a fast slow sketch. The first thing I'm doing is just mixing up kind of an orange color just for fun. This first color is really whatever you want. And I'm just going to do like a 10 second gesture. All right, here we go. Looking for the big idea, the big shapes. I'm thinking about some of the movement of the feather, dancing my brush around. There we go. I think that was about 10 seconds. And I'm just going to pause for a moment and let this dry. Now that my initial fast sketch is dry, I can come over and spend some more detailed time on a slow sketch. This can be a contour sketch, a continuous contour sketch. And working over this original fast sketch has a certain energy. It doesn't matter if I'm not following the lines precisely, but I'm exploring all the different patterns and shapes, lines and outlines of the feather. I love how the ink is sitting on top of watercolor. The watercolor is the initial energy and exploration, and the ink second is bringing the structure and the form. I love using hatching marks to add a little bit more value. The closer together my map marks are, the darker they look. So I hope you have fun with these. Experiment with that first layer of color and experiment with your subject too. There's, there's no wrong way to do these. And for this next approach, I'm gonna use pencil first, finished with a little bit of watercolor. I'm gonna be doing a lighter sketch with my pencil, exploring the big form. I worked my way around the contour of the outside, and now I'm working my way around the contours I see, the outlines I see, on the inside of the feather, this beautiful browner patterning. Once I've cleaned up my sketch with the gum eraser, I'm gonna be ready to paint. And this brush that I'm using is the Rosemary & Co. Uh, number four limited edition synthetic. And I'll just begin to explore the colors. I'm gonna keep my brush a little bit on the drier side as I work through the detail. I'm gonna be working from typically light to dark and larger areas to smaller areas. I'll also be working my way around the whole composition, the whole feather, so that as parts dry, I can go back and work on them. As you paint, you can be as loose or as tight as you want. It comes down to the time you have to dedicate to your sketch. I'm moving my brush often in the same direction as the feathers. I'm also leaving some little white areas to sparkle through give a little glow on the paper. Finally, when working with a subject like this on your page, like a natural object, it can be fun to add a little bit of a shadow to help ground it on your page. I hope you've enjoyed these explorations. Be sure to uh, share what you do. We love seeing uh, what you create. Please keep in touch.